Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Netflix. So in today's video, I am going to tell you how to upload a file in PHP. So uh, in the meantime, I am just typing a form and if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel for getting the latest updates of all the programming tutorials and do share and like my videos. Now starting with the topic, the file uploading in PHP, I am going to give a comment over here file uploading in php i'm going to save this file let it be c drive sam hdocs php and file upload.php so enter name i'm going to type a name a text box which will be having a name equals to na and upload file input type file name f and one will be input type summit so name save value save so if i'm going to run this uh, then in the browser i'm going to type as localhost php and file upload so this is my file uploading so here I will be writing my PHP code. So here my forms come. So now moving to the database part, uh, let's start uh, using uh, its MyDB. And in MyDB, I am going to create a new table with the name image, and it will be having number of columns as three. So which one column will be there? It will be one is the ID that you have to like always keep it keep it into your mind that you have whenever you are going to create a table, you need an ID field with its index as primary and auto increment should be checked. Then there will be a name. Int will always be having the length value of 11. Then the name varchar and it will be of 255 length. Then you have to implement ID, name, and image. Image should also be a varchar with 255 as length. So I'm going to click on a save button. So after clicking on a save button, an image table is being created with ID, name, and image columns with them. So moving to this part, that enter name, input type, text name, NA. And so whenever you are going to upload a file uh, to a server, you have always, it's mandatory to take your form method as post. And there is one more property that you should be attached with. It is encrypt type multi-part form data. So basically this is a necessary attribute that you have to attach to your form because whenever you are going to upload a file along with your form uh, form fields, you need an encrypt type multi-part form data. So moving to the coding part, let's see what it print underscore r is a function that is going to print. Uh, let us be because it's dollar underscore post and one is dollar underscore files. So I'm using here the free tag the free tag then file upload uh, let's submit a form let it be john and i'm going to uh, like pick a file over here any file let it be it's uh, facebook so save so here when I, whenever i am going to say click on a save button I, as i have not mentioned any action action tag in my form so by default it will be calling its own file so the same file is been called so whenever the same file is been called then any that has a name of text box and f that has a name of file text of upload file text box uh, because as this form is uploading a file along with my name so Whenever the file is being uploaded in that form, always two arrays will be passed. One will be the dollar underscore post array, 
that will contains the name and the submit button values the name and the submit button values and the other array always whenever you are going to upload a file always the file array is being generated separately so if we want to print the files array then we have to mention here as dollar underscore files so when i am going to refer here as dollar underscore files basically input input type file is given as name f so i have uploaded a file so f is an array generated a nested array is being generated in which image is uploaded right now into my browser cache and it has following properties with them the first one is the name of the image second one is the type of the image whether it is image is jpg or png third is the temporary name in which this image is being stored temporary means uh, the browser cache is storing this image on this path right error is zero means image is proper and uh, without error and it is the size of image in bytes so this is a file array that is being generated along with the form array because form contains my two fields one is the input type text as na so na i have name i have input as john and uh, it is the type second is the type submit name safe so this is the name safe form so i am going to do here as i am just going to comment this and i am going to write here as if not empty dollar underscore post save so if dollar underscore post is not empty because whenever i am going to click on a save button this array is being generated and if not empty dollar underscore post save uh, name will be i will be taking a variable name and na means the value of john will be taken into name and if i now i am going to fetch the file name so for that dollar underscore files is the array and f is the array and it's further arrays because it is a two dimensional array so i have to write here as file name and now it's file path so dollar underscore files f now it's temp name so this is the temp name file name has been written temp name has been written now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to break this name into two parts so to break this name into two parts image name i have to use here as explode function so basically explode function is breaking the name into two parts it be file name and let's print this file name print our image name and i will put here the exit so that uh, the output will be clear to you so refresh so here uh, like the name is been i can just open this also so that you can have more clarification so this will be the array that is been generated like print our image name basically with the help of dot because file name is this one one dot png so the first in the zero index of array will be having its file name and the first index of array will be having its png fine so i will be uh, separating i need an extension so extension equals to image name the first index so now i am going to print extension as well so the png extension is been separated now uh, why i'm doing this i'm going to tell you in my like uh, once i complete this part then i will be specifying here query as show table status like like this is a predefined query i need to import my all the values in image folder so i will be um, uh, doing and i will be placing a query as show table status like image i'm going to execute this result my sql query connect query uh, i have not opened the connection so my sql i underscore connect local host root blank and my db my db is the database name or type connection fate so uh, this query has been executed shows table status like image and i will be having 
uh, basically it has only single row so after executing this i will be implementing a mysql array association function and i will put here as result so basically it contains only single row basically what does this query gives you it gives you the property of your table let's print it and I, it will make you more clear so here uh, exit i have not put the semicolon over here so here your uh, the array comes uh, basically it is telling about your table that your table name is image uh, its row format row zero means right now it is not having any row and uh, it's one important thing is there that it's it is having an auto increment field as one so what does this query is giving the properties of my table image and it's giving me the auto increment field means the id which is to be generated now or the next it is giving me in advance so one is giving because uh, there is currently no record so next id will be generated as one so one it is giving me so i what i need is i need only id also so i will just pick up an id and i will just use here auto increment and now id so i need id so it is been there so id is there and the png extension is there of this so why i am doing this let's know about this see like uh, if you have upload a file uh, file name with abc.jpg and same file name is uploaded by any other person right suppose you have uploaded a file with abc.jpg and second person has also uploaded the file with abc.jpg so the second person file will be replaced by your file because your file and second person file will be having same name right so in order to uh, avoid this type of conflict with each other with the same file name what i am going to do here is i am going to pick up the extension of file from here right and i am renaming that file with my unique id that will be generated so every image will be having a unique name because id is auto incremented and primary so once a particular id is been deleted that id will not be created in its lifetime so i have just i am just picking up this one like and extension i have picked up i will now pick here as full file name a new file name you can say a new file name i will picking up id then i will be concatting with dot and then i will be ex, uh, concat it with extension so my full file name now will be full file name will now be its new file name one dot png so my new file name will be one dot png so every time a next file record is been uploaded again the auto increment will field will be 2 so whatever the extension it will be having then that file be renamed as 2.png or 2.jpg whatever it extension it holds so for now i am going to attach a query over here insert into you have a table name as image name image values name is uh, inside my value name and image name will be image name so now i'm going to implement the if condition if mysql i underscore query connect query echo record inserted else echo record not inserted and so this way your records will be inserted at the back end and after inserting the record i will move upload file uh, the file is currently residing on this path and temp name i have shifted in my file path so i will mention here as file path 
and in the C drive in XAMPP, stdocs, in PHP, I will make a folder upload image images. So in upload images, my file will be saved with new file. So exit I have like I will just comment out all the printf and echo so that my program does not get disrupted so i'm going to refresh this so i will remove here as pre tag also so enter name it's john a choose file i'm going to choose this one facebook file save array to string conversion on 23 23 is uh, I have mentioned a new image name a mistake so it's new file name new file name so record inserted the browse I'm just going to empty this So currently there is not any record. If I'm going to write here as John, choose file, one Facebook, say record inserted. Let's check it, browse one John one dot PNG. And in my upload images, it's one dot PNG, right? And if I'm going to upload a same file name, like John again, and the same file with the same name if I am uploading this save so that file is again renamed as 2.png and here that file is saved with 2.png so there is no confliction between the first file and the second file because we have renamed it with the unique ID that is being generated so this was all about file uploading in PHP in this way you can just upload your file and save it to your server and if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do like and share my videos thanks for watching my video